It's Saturday morning, or afternoon I should say. I'm getting up late, and welcome to my vlog. Alrighty, so today I'm shooting with a different camera just because I felt like changing it up and sometimes it makes me feel better and stuff. So today I am shooting with my Panasonic. And even though it's not white balancing right, that garage door is supposed to be green. Oh well. But uh, yeah, I'm shooting with the Panasonic. Uh, Adam's on his way over. We're going to see about fixing this thing here and uh, see what we can do here. I'm pretty sure it's the freaking card, which I'm probably not even aiming at. Try this again. I'm pretty sure. It's the friggin' carb that's uh, acting up here, wherever it is, right there, I think. Yeah, right there. It needs some tuning, and uh, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I downloaded a PDF here, and it says how to adjust uh, the pilot screw and all that stuff. And I'm looking on the carb, and I can't find that pilot screw. I have no idea where the hell it is. So, needless to say, Adam knows what he's doing, so he's done so many carbs in his day that uh, this will be cake for him. Like I said, he'll probably come over five seconds, spin a couple screws and be like, there dude, you're done, you're good to go. And I'll be like, oh, awesome. <laughs> but uh, there right now I got all three heaters going. I got that one there going. This one here actually still works. I don't know what the hell leaked out of it, but it wasn't the oil that was in it, so whatever. And then I got one back here. That's doing a job too. And surprisingly enough, it only takes about 15 minutes and this garage becomes nice and toasty, so. Maybe it was all the clutteredness that was causing problems. Or it could have been the minus 25 when we did the live shows. I don't know. Well, I'm just waiting for Adam to get here. Once he does, we'll uh, pitter-patter and get at her. And we can see if we can get this piece of shit to work. So, let's do this. Alrighty, well, Adam's here. There he is. Uh, Two Adams and one big red, eh? Jeez. Yeah. And uh, he just finished doing some tuning to the carb and playing with it. And uh, getting it all Looking checked out. Again. And Yeah. Turn around. Seeing if we can get this here thing to start up and be happy so I can break, bring it in the backyard and break my neck. <laughs> well, we'll see how she goes. Alrighty, well Adam just left and we tried everything possible. We had a little bit of a uh, malfunction here. Uh, the friggin' fuel line came off the carb. So we lost a whole bunch of gas, but not a big deal. Um, we uh, managed to get it to run for a bit and then it died. So now he's thinking, it's getting plenty of fuel, it's getting plenty of uh, air, we're thinking it's spark, and we're thinking it's a spark plug, because that plug's looking pretty shitty. So he said he's going to come back another day, he's going to bring a spare coil that he knows works. He's got like parts galore for these things. So he's going to bring a spare coil, spare plug, and we'll get this piece of crap working. We'll get her going, no worries. So, yeah. I'm not too worried about it. He's not too worried about it. So uh, don't worry, be happy. We'll get her going. But it's above like six o'clock at night. So I think we're gonna see what we're gonna do for supper. Get some food going and uh, take her from there. So uh, yeah, let's do that. Well, seeing how there's an issue with Big Red and we're gonna work on that tomorrow. There's pretty much nothing else left to do except for Flyer day, flyer day, gotta look at sales on flyer day, see what kind of deals they have in the paper. Alrighty, so we're gonna start off with the source. Great brands, perfect gifts. Alright. Alright, on. 89 bucks for a 1 terabyte USB 3.0 desktop hard drive? Yeah. 8 gig Next Tech uh, friggin' SD uh, or USB drives. For 10 bucks, not bad, not bad. Oh, I really want to get one of those headsets. They're cool. <laughs> 16 gigs of micro SD for uh, $29. Awesome. I got a JVC camcorder here on sale for uh, 130 bucks off. Not bad, not bad. It's uh, HD, which is better than the Sony, which is not HD. Oh, well. what can you do? Pretty decent deal on SD cards. Class 1016 for uh, 30 bucks. 
and a, a class 4 16 for 20 bucks not bad 16 gig USB drive for friggin 20 bucks that's a great deal USB speakers I need these for our work for $24.99 nice 720p camera 3 megapixel stealth photos for $34.99 that's pretty decent and that's how muscle cars should sit I think uh, yeah they're $79.99 each decent 32 inch Toshiba TV for 300 bucks not bad Alrighty, moving right along to Future Shop. Let's see what kind of deals they have. Gotta have gifts for this. Yeah. Don't know why they posted this. It's not exactly a deal. It's just the everyday price. Okay. Oh, I do want, especially if I get Big Red going, I need that. Well, their deal's not as good as the source, but those are nice video, car or, uh, video cards. Those are nice SD cards. That's basically what I'm running in the camera I'm using now, and it's more than efficient. It's a class 6. So, pretty decent. Indeed. I'd also love to get that camera with the 3MOS technology. Oh, man. Those are the uh, Kobos I was talking about yesterday running Android. Uh, they're pretty much junk. If I super had the money, I'd go out and pick this thing up. Freaking Core i7 2600. Yeah. The only thing slowing it down is that 2 terabyte hard drive. It's only 5400 RPMs. Alright, let's move on to Staples. Big chair event. Mm-hmm. Looks like it definitely is a big chair event. That's not a bad little rig. AMD Athlon X, uh, X3 triple core for 330 bucks. Not too shabby. Apple should just get rid of these, these iPod shuffles because the Nanos are the exact same size. Get rid of that, lower the price on that, and we're good to go. 32 gig pen drive for 42 bucks. That's not bad. Ooh, two terabytes of external hard drive space for a hundred bucks. Nice. Hey, it's my dad's webcam. Awesome. Friggin' forty bucks. Sweet. And last but not least, we'll do Canadian Tire. Right on. Yep, it's inevitable. Christmas is coming. Freak sakes. You know, I don't really know much about the brand. That's a pretty cool looking camera. 150 bucks. Right on. I was thinking about picking up some of those for the garage. They're uh, 4,800 watt portable heaters. And they might work better than those little Nomas I'm running right now. Of course, that would be awesome. There, Rex, if you're watching, that's the gas can I use for my mix fuel. That'll probably fit in your little container. Or you can modify it to have one of those. Just saying. I'm going to have to go buy some more of this stuff because I can't find mine. It sucks. That's what I need. Hey, wait. That's what I'm getting. Kerosene heater. What? What? Nice. Well, that pretty much sums up everything for Flyer Day, so let's get back to our regularly scheduled program. Are you funny? So they got this awesome deal for uh, Hortons where you get these Supreme Cappuccinos for a buck a piece. So you see an extra large Tim Hortons in the same variety, you're looking at about two thirty-two taxes in. If you buy two mediums, like I went and did, you pay $2.10. <laughs> That's a saving of 22 cents, people. Way to go me. Alrighty guys, it's about a uh, quarter after 11 and uh, Basically at around 9 o'clock I had to go drive the girlfriend to the bar. I'm getting text messages here from, uh, it's pretty funny, uh, from uh, Adam, the guy who was over earlier today to uh, help me with Big Red. And uh, <laughs> and uh, the old 200M motor I had sitting in the garage that I wasn't planning on doing anything with, 
he wanted it so I was like yeah man it's yours take it so he uh, he brought it home and I thought there was you know it's gonna need a rebuild it's probably gonna need some work and stuff he just texted me now to tell me that he got the motor running he fired up the 200M motor so I'm pretty sure he'll get the trike going tomorrow I'm pretty sure it's a spark plug issue um, yeah also I'm back to using the Canon camera instead of the Panasonic because it's kind of awkward to hold that big sun. Like, look at the size of this thing, man. It's huge. So it's kind of awkward to carry it. So look at the size of that thing. That thing's huge. Yeah. Like, I'm not going to get a bunch of that's what she said. But uh, it's more easier to use the Canon for this kind of stuff. So I went back to the Canon camera. Not a big deal. And, uh, yeah, apparently uh, half a case of beer the way she goes. <laughs> that's exactly what he responded. Big, big Trailer Park Boys fan over here. So, that's friggin' awesome. He got that motor working. Now he's just looking for a chassis to stuff it into. Some tires and all the other fixings. And uh, he's going to have himself a third trike. Well, he's probably got a bunch more that are running, but... Yeah. He's got a whole graveyard of just trikes and trike parts. That's what he told me. He's like, if you ever need a bolt, don't go buy it. Call me. <laughs> okay, bud. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I'm just sitting here, chilling out, watching some uh, Star Trek, playing on Google Plus, and uh, doing dick all right now. So, good times. I was going to have some beers, but uh, i got to go pick up the girlfriend when she's done at the bar. So, fun, happy, awesome times for this guy. Yeah! Well guys, it's getting kind of late, so I think I'm going to shut this down. Um, basically, uh, I want to be up early tomorrow because I want to get working on Big Red and see if I can get it running and out of the garage before the sun goes down. So I can maybe do some romping in the backyard. I know I say it every friggin' day that I want to get it running and I'm having a hell of a time. But tomorrow, I'm going to try something different with it. But like I say, we're going to try a new coil and a new plug because, well, we already replaced the carburetor. We got a brand new carb on there. Still nothing. Um, we noticed a problem with the spark plug. Basically, it would um, spark every once in a while, not all the time. So, what we're thinking is, is swap out the plug, swap out the coil, and then she'll fire, and it should work. So, uh, when Rex and I got it going the other night, what happened was we used that liquid fire stuff, and apparently, the liquid fire you don't need much of a a spark to get her to go, I guess. I guess it's really uh, highly flammable, a lot more than gasoline fumes. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to shut her down here. So if you like today's video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them in the comment section below. And until tomorrow, guys, keep on blogging.